Elliot from the Bear Pit TV, we've signed someone. We've done it. We've done it. We've joined the club. We've the people have finally signed We've somebody. finally made a signing. We've signed Ramadan Sobi for six million euros from Al Ali today. Um, I'm very excited about the signing. I, well, yeah, I, mean, you, I, I, know, I knew he was highly sought after and rated in Egypt, but you've just told me he's the most sought after player in Africa. Africa. Youngest talent, uh, biggest young talent in Africa. That's what he's regarded as. Which is a great, great shout from Stoke. I mean, from what I've read, YouTube's YouTube and all the rest of it, but he looks a really, real exciting he's prospect. Pacey, he's pacey, he's tricky, yeah. he's, taught, he's, he's a very similar build and style to Arnie. Arnie, yeah. Which yeah. is you know, promising. Arnie's one of our best players. He is indeed, and as you've mentioned, he's 19 years old, and I think, I can't remember the last time we signed someone of real youth, but certainly not in the teens anyway, and it's good to have someone in the squad that we can hopefully work with from a very young age and develop forward and well, get, you Well, know. the last time we spoke, we said that, you know, we wanted someone who could come on and obviously push Shakiri and Arnie to not yeah. only for them to try and get their place in the squad, but to push those guys as well to yeah. be even better. Yeah. And worry them. Exactly, yeah. Because, like I said last time, I think, at times, there wasn't that much pressure coming from the bench or the squad, and hopefully Sobby can really do that. And who knows, it might squeeze the best out of Chuck and Arnie as well, if they stay. Hopefully so. Yeah. Uh, his Wikipedia's already been updated, that's what I'm on at I the saw minute. That. Someone's, really, been yeah, fast I saw that. That. Someone's been fast to that. And I also said earlier on today, I said I want to get some of your guys' comments and see what you guys think about the signing. So Dan Boone says, great signing, can't wait to see him play. He's got bags potential to be a great player. Who's that, Dan? Dan Boone. Good name. Do you know him? Dan Boone. Just a good name. He said players Just like this will help us to move on to better things. We actually have a decent team now. He says next season is our season. We're going to win something. It's a big, big claim. You, you keep saying we're going to win a I cup. Just, I just want the League Cup. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd love the League title, I'd love the FA Cup. Nice. Just give me one cup. Okay. So you're very much with Dan Boone on that. I, I am. Yeah. Rob White like said that. he's exactly the player we need. Eager to play in the league. Hungry young man who can apply pressure to Bojan Shaq Marco. That can only be a good thing. Yeah. That's exactly what we've just yeah, said. Spot on, yeah. And Rob Davenport says quality signing, but I think he might need some time to adapt. Give him three months to get used to the league. Then I think he'll be good. But ten, yeah, I think it's important that Stoke fans don't get too eager to expect an instant impact because, like we say, he's 19. The Premier League, I imagine, is a different world from the Egyptian Premier yeah. League. You know, so we've got to be patient with him and just let his kind of talent come naturally and not push him, as Stoke fans can sometimes do. Yeah. Get a little bit impatient. So let's give him, give him let's, a little let's bit. Easy of time. Let's yeah. ease him in. Let's ease him in. Hopefully, I'd love him to come and do that ball trick and just wind someone up where he stands on the ball. Apparently, when he did that in Egypt, he, he it apologised. Was in, it was yeah. in Cairo derby, and yeah, that was absolutely it. Absolutely yeah. nuts. Yeah. Um, but you know, but if you're watching, go for crap. it. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to see that now on the Brits. So go for it, mate. Okay, so Sobby's done, done deal. We couldn't be any happy, happier. And hello to all our new Egyptian fans. I know we've got. Have you seen, yeah, the, the likes on the, the Stoke City page have jumped by about 150,000 in the last week. Or in something. the first week we were linked with him, we filled enough. We got 30,000 or so more likes on the official Stoke City page. Yeah. Enough to fill the Brit, the Bet365. Yeah, yeah. In the first week. So um, I don't like to speak in these sort of terms, but the brand and all that oh, yeah. global image is what football is nowadays unfortunately but it'll bigger do wonders bigger. for Stoke's image can't move yeah yeah well, that's Sobby we've got him he's now a Stoke City player 48 hours until he gets his visa I believe and he'll travel out to the squad in Orlando yep. moving on to the next story and it's why my phone is sat here because it could go off at any minute with a notification from Stoke City is that Joe Allen is having his medical it should be done wrapped up very soon yeah. it's been a Clayton Wood all day the boys over at Stout, Stout Loud and Proud have been in the bush, she's taking pictures of him. They've been loving arriving. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, vital piece of Absolutely midfield. delighted with that. I, I don't quite understand. I'm speaking to a Liverpool fan at work, actually, and he's very surprised they've let him go. I know yeah. he's in the last year of the contract. I still feel 30 million is a great price for Alan. And I think it's th this got me really, really hopeful this season. Really hopeful. And I, I don't know, I just think. He will naturally be Wheeling's replacement whenever that time occurs, or at least he can kind of, you know, chop and change of injuries and all the rest of it. But I think it's a fantastic piece of business. I'm really, really I happy with that. I think he'll, you know, he got in the team of the tournament for the Euros. He did, yeah. That's why I'm shocked Liverpool were so readily, you know, willing to let him go. I thought he'd it's stick like about. It easy. Yeah, they did. There was no resistance, was there, really? And they've got Wijnaldum in, in his place. Yeah, they have, yeah. I don't think, I don't think he's, he's much compared to just different different types of players. Well, they are, yeah, and I, I think, and it also, I think Swansea fans are, are gutted. Oh yeah, they are absolutely that gutted. That guy, I comment, boy's name was Jonathan something. We all oh the bloke that tweeted, yeah, 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 yeah. He tweeted us saying that uh, Joe Allen was never coming to Stoke. Well, by the time this goes out, he might be there. And yeah. uh, thank you for your comment, Jonathan. Yeah. I hope 
And it always he actually made his car private after because he got that. Yeah, so that's been one. removed. So it always helps to get one over at you know another Premiership club, just to annoy him a little bit, makes you feel a little bit better about the signing. Definitely. Yeah. And so Joe Allen could be done by this time if this video goes out. So if so. There's another Stoke signing, Monday, pretty decent Monday. Been a good Monday, yeah. So, yeah. last thing we'll go on to is, where else do you think we need strength from? Obviously, Berahino. Berahino. It's been rejected now. I, I mean, I said in the last time we did a video that I thought 20 million was the top end, and I thought that was fine. But apparently, we're going to go beyond 20 million now, and I'm starting to get a little bit hesitant to it's that. It's last year of his contract. It's a lot it's of It's a money. lot 20 of 20 million was a lot already. Yeah, it was. And I, I do rate him. He's had one very good season. But I'd be half tempted to kind of, I don't know, Benteke and Barney and all that sort of stuff and test them borders a little bit because Berahino, he's, he's not proven proven, is he? He had he a had good, season, good season, a good season, it's you know, admit that, goals, 15 we? goals. But I don't know, beyond 20 last year, the contract, I'm not <sighs> so what? sure. There's a lot of other talent out there. There is, yeah, yeah. Not English, but... You know, we'll and we see. need a centre back. We still need a centre back. It looks like we are still yeah. looking for a young English centre back. I don't know which. There's been many that have been linked with us. Yeah. Um, sort of just to fill in for short cross because that back isn't looking. It's not looking. Any, but it's not at all. It's not at all. I mean, as much as you know, on paper, I'm, including Alan, our midfield looks amazing now. On paper, football mm. isn't played on paper, but the defence is still shaky, and it was last year. Mm. I still don't rate Wilshire, as I've mentioned. Shawcross is back. I don't know, we need to make that priority quick. We okay. can start getting some links and rumours, just get something going off the bat. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly, exactly how I feel. But obviously we can be happy for today. Yep. Sobby's done, Alan on the way. Um, give us a like if you've liked this video, me and Craig discussing the transfers. Let me know in the comments what you've made of a signings today or where else you need, think we need to strengthen. And thank you for watching.